technology has come so far over the last few years, you can really get some amazing results, even if you don't have any money at all. You can get a mix that sounds like this. Using nothing but free guitar plugins. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, before all the detractors out there can start typing, but what about Bluestones? This is a metal show, so we are looking for, guess what? Metal amp sims. That's right. That seems to be, for me anyway, what amp sims have had the hardest time doing is getting a good metal tone. Now, I've recommended the Ignite Emissary over the years. That one's been great. The Nalix one's not too bad either. There's a bunch of other free ones I looked at. A lot of them tend to be a little bit tubby in the low end, like say from about 100 hertz to 300 hertz. They just don't quite get it right. Except for one, and that is the Amped Roots from ML Sound Labs. This was put out back in 2020. This is my good friend Fluff's Amp Sim, and the first module out of it is absolutely free. And this is really good, like right out of the box. This is used in the modern high gain setting. <laughs> Okay, that's fantastic. The fact that you can get that for absolutely free is just stupendous. I really do like what this amp sim delivers for the low, low cost of absolutely nothing. Now, if you've been watching the show, you know I demoed the brand new 2022 Celestian Vintage 30, the new ones coming in from China, and they are nothing short of magnificent. So many of you guys responded on that video, so there's got so much traffic and there's so much talk about it. I thought, you know what? What the hell? I'm going to make an impulse response of that and give it away for absolutely free. And that's already up for grabs. A bunch of you guys have already got it. You're loving it. Cool. A few of you guys have said, hey man, thanks for the useless wave file. And my other favorite one was, well, you go on and on and on about speakers. I don't understand how you can like impulse responses. All right, to address those issues, I thought I'd break out the crayons and explain it to a few of you guys who don't want to see reason. Just for the record, an impulse response is, you guessed it, a digital snapshot of a speaker. Let me get a close up here for all you clever people in the audience who still haven't quite figured it out. Now I've gone on and on and on about how upgrading your speakers can be the easiest and simplest and cheapest way of upgrading your sound and making massive differences in tone. Not just, well, I think I can tell something that's like, crumbs, balls, that's fucking unreal. Allow me to illustrate exactly what I mean. Let's change out the default sound that comes with this thing with my free impulse response. Check this. <laughs> Man, I don't care where you are from, that tone is metal as fuck. That definitely delivers the goods. The fact that it's gonna cost you absolutely nothing to get this tone is awesome, and I'm more than happy to share it with you guys just for being awesome people. Even the tube snobs. Now, a bunch of you guys have asked, hey, Glenn, how do you get that big stereo sound when you're doing demos? Like, yeah, this is just a mono track right now. <laughs> It's wonderful, it's snarly and whatnot, but it doesn't quite have that big over the top sound. What I've been using is another free download and this is called Voxengo Stereo Touch. And I'm just using the guitar space preset on here just with the D1 gain turned down a little bit, just adds a little bit of stereo delay into the mix and it's a very, very short delay. So it gives us this massive stereo effect. Check this out. <laughs> Now, if you want a bigger spread in your sound, all you gotta do is just play with the D1 gain and the delay one. Check this out. We'll widen this up just a little bit here.
Now that might be a little over the top for demo purposes. And honestly, I would never use this in a stereo mix. I'd much, much rather the guitar player do two or four individual rhythm tracks so you get that bigger, larger than life sound, especially when you want to layer in, you know, multiple tones and that kind of stuff. You can get some really cool results. This is more for like single track demos when you're just practicing or whatnot. It gives it that kind of over the top, larger than life sound. I'm just dialing this back a little bit to be a little bit more sane. <laughs> Yeah, all kinds of fun. Absolutely love what's going on with that tone. And it also works for leads. Hold on a second here. Let me change guitars here for a sec. This is that rough guitar I demoed there a couple of weeks ago. Oh, it just plays so nice. Now, the other thing is I'll use in one more plugin sometimes, especially when I'm doing lead playing and whatnot. It's just a little bit of delay. I like the read delay that's built into Reaper. I mean, that's a great thing. It doesn't matter what DAW you're playing. Chances are you're going to have a delay built right in and just throwing a little bit of stereo ping pong delay on your guitar tone when you're playing leads can add a little bit of depth and a little bit of space and just give you some awesome results. <laughs> Yeah, super simple. Now, what's all this mean? I mean, like, is this gonna be practical for your home recordings? Absolutely. Will this work in a mix? You tell me. Many thanks to Jackson Ward on the drums there and our good buddy Mercurial uh, from the SMG Discord for playing guitar on that one. You know, I would absolutely be thrilled to put that on a client's record. That just sounds absolutely massive. Ultimately, the sound is coming from the speaker. You guys remember the thing that changes electrical current back into acoustic energy and then we capture that with a microphone? Yeah, that's the part where the big frequency balance stuff is going on. And yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this sound. This just works. Now I'm gonna make this super easy for you guys to figure out. I'm gonna have links to all the downloads below. Once again, you know, you can just get the amped roots, but if you really wanna get that over the top sound, you gotta get the free IR from Spectre Digital. And yeah, grab the Vox Sango Stereo Touch as well. That's a great freaking plugin. For those of you guys who've never worked with an impulse response, not to worry, it's just a little WAV file. And all we gotta do is point the amp sim at where they are on our drive. So in order to do that, we go into the cab sim right here and we go to speaker and click load custom IR. And all you gotta do is point that at the folder you made when you unzipped the free impulse you got in your email. So we're just gonna point this over here to 2022 V30 giveaway, hit 57, load that up, boom, there it is. And we're gonna go over to the second one here, load custom IR and hit Lewitt, hit return, boom, we're in. And then we can just mix to taste.
Now the Lewitt's really got some bottom end to it, that's for sure. And what we're doing is we balance the 57 and the Lewitt and we get this wicked tone. And really, that's all there is to it. It's a very simple operation. Now that's all up for grabs for the low, low cost of absolutely nothing. Just grab the free 2022 Vintage 30 Impulse Response and then the Amp Roots and then the Voxango Stereo Touch. Links are for everything. Super easy to understand, super easy to install. Once again, all you gotta do to get that to work is just go over to where your speaker is and load custom IR and point it at the folder you had it at. That's it, that's all there is to it, real simple stuff. Now, if you're working with amp sims at home and you're a little confused and you still don't really know how to wrap your head around, I'd highly, highly recommend grabbing yourself a copy of Scott Elliott's Guitar Tone Mastery. That's also up for grabs over at Spectre Digital as well. And it taught me everything I need to know about amp sims. And in fact, it's one of the only courses I've ever gone through twice because there's just so much useful information in there. Now, hopefully this video is gonna help some of you guys out there. Hopefully it's gonna help somebody achieve the kind of mix that they've been dreaming of getting. And if you wanna get some more information on that 2022 Vintage 30, you can check out this video right here.